from the gear. We're, we're great. Going. We're a new one. I'm hungry. Did you say that? I'm hungry? Oh. Did you think I said horny? No. No. Oh. What did you think I said? I thought I just said I'm hungry, but okay. I'm like, okay, the guy who plays the wolf is saying he's hungry. It sounds kind of ironic right now. I get it. I get it. It's not what I was saying. Bad dad joke. It was Sorry. a very bad joke. It's horrible. What's going on, guys? Well, what can you tell us about upcoming? Upcoming, um, the Assassins, which I think is one of the coolest storylines that we've ever done. Um, they really make an impact on Scott's Pack uh, and the rest of Beacon Hills um, for every supernatural character. So you see a lot of death uh, on Assassin side and supernatural side. Um, we see a lot of Scott mentoring him, uh, which is the uh, su such a cool storyline too. Something we've never done before, you know. Um, that's what's that's what's really cool about this season is just we've tackled stuff that we've never never done before. Um, but yeah, the assassins are great. Uh, a lot of crazy character arcs. Um, some some you know big actors on the show. Some of them die. Um, you know, there's always there's always the the, the question of who, who's gonna get the axe this season. You know, so you know there's more of that. So there's there's a lot of stuff to look forward to and not look forward to, I guess. So what is the relationship between your two characters like? I mean, so it's a mentor relationship. Right, yeah. Uh, he and I as people or as, as characters? As characters. I mean, I don't know I mean, I think <laughs> Scott, Scott sees a lot of um, what he was going through in Liam, you know, and that's a huge, huge thing for Scott. Um, it weighs heavy on his mind every day from season one, you know, uh, Allison helping him through that. So he sees, he sees a lot of him in him. And uh, him and him. Yeah, he's, like, he's a lot of himself and you. God! <laughs> You're so hungry. I'm starving! <laughs> oh, uh, you, got, you got some food? <laughs> um, but it, they. Close! <laughs> oh, best. This is so good. It's cool. Mockingjay popcorn. <laughs> I love Mockingjay. Uh, I just have to meet him. Is that what a Mockingjay anyway, is? Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> Back to um, so and, and I think I think Scott genuinely views him as a friend. Um, you know, he thinks he's a good kid. He can see past all of the anger issues, um, and Scott just wants to help him and, and, and you know be friends with him and, and show him the way and, and uh, make sure he doesn't die. So um, there's just a lot of respect. You know, he respects Scott, which I think you do. Yeah, I think my character really does respect Scott. Um, Especially when he comes in, there's a line that I have when we're in the locker room they're interrogating me. Because before I get bit, I think I'm a little bit. And I'm like, uh, something, something about being a team captain when he's a sophomore just like you. So you look up to me a little bit. I look up to him. Um, and uh, it's really interesting because I have anger management problems and I, I just got a stepdad. So I have a lot of problems in my life, so it's hard to trust him. Yeah, especially after he bit me. I don't really know what's going on, but that's like, a, you can see I'm starting to progress. It's like, what the fuck? Trust <laughs> you just bit me. I love, I love that scene. Yeah, we're brothers now. We're brothers. <laughs> we just met and you bit me. We just met and you bit me. We're brothers. We're brothers. It's the So, you know, their relationship is a lot like that. There's a lot yeah. of respect. It's also very silly and comedic, and they call each other on their bullshit, which is great. So, it's a good, it's a good, good relationship. Yeah. It's very Scott Styles esque but with Derek mixed in. <laughs> That's it, yeah. And I think also for my character, it's how kind of, trust is a big thing because I don't trust really anyone. So once I do trust you, life is not just myself. I don't trust anyone easily. But when I do, it, it, it lasts. And it's a big loyalty. That makes sense. I get that. Good answer, dude. It's awesome. <laughs> you've seen a little bit of it with, with your character. I mean, Scott's still kind of learning who he is as a wolf. And now he's taken on mentoring and new one. And you've seen a little bit of that dynamic. Is there going to be a little bit more play with that type of... With, with Scott still learning as he's teaching, yeah. yeah, of course. I mean, you know, like you said, Scott's always every day learning something new about his power. <clears throat> it's still very new to him. He's been an hour for like a week, uh, and he has no idea how the hell he learned himself. Um, so he's learning things as he's as he's teaching Liam too. Um, so I mean, I don't know if we're gonna. We haven't. We didn't really have too much time to touch on that this season because we were fighting off. Uh, what are they called? Berserkers and <laughs> Berserkers and, and all these killers, assassins. And um, so I think that'll call for next season. Um, but there's definitely some good stuff with us this season. Yeah. But I feel like your character too is like, your character doesn't give himself enough credit. Like, um, you know, for how good of a person he is and how, you know, 
how good of a leader he is. Like, right. uh, I mean, I remember you guys talking a long time ago about how your character's like Peter Parker on Spider-Man. Like, he's really not humble, not shy and humble, and doesn't like want to give himself credit, but really is a true leader. I love that, dude. So you're always worried about being a true leader, but you already are one. And that's what makes him a true leader. Yeah. So he's, he's always thinking about it. He's always worried. He's just he's, he's on his feet all the time. You know. I love you. Thank you guys Can so much. Can I get a straight on yeah. for you guys?